I'm with Flash with Flashpoint here. It's the dentists um, and doctors, since as you probably know, that's the people we work with uh, for 35 years, helping them creating a bigger, better practice where they have a lot of more time and where you can make extra incomes also in order to basically not only be totally dependent on the practice in that location. So our main program in order to get you, your practice growing is called an advertising. Basically, don't waste your money on advertising, try an advertising. That doesn't mean no advertising money has to be spent to push the message out because that's putting the message out. The difference is in what the message is. What is the message? And our messages are mainly made to be getting people to know you the doctor, the practice, the whole thing, but may, you know, very much of course starting with you, the doctor, as a jolly good fellow, as a guy of the community, without going to baseball games for kids and needing to spend and, uh, money and, and needing to be there, without going to rotary clubs, without going to breakfast meetings and whatever it may be to be this jolly good fellow, without going to a food bank and dishing out food then spending a, a, a time. It's about concepts. Those concepts get, of course, pushed out on the internet. Now, let me tell you about a very enormous way of how people get to know you as a person and as a specialist. There is almost nothing better. There never really was anything much better, even though the internet has, you know, the, the playing field quite a bit in many areas because one can push out messages at will, more or less. One has to pay for it, but one can push them out. And it's like a candy store. You give a guy uh, whatever money you give him and he gives you a candy. You can give Facebook and whatever it is a dollar and he give you a patient. Okay, so I should have said you can give him whatever money and he gives you a, you know, a, a patient so that you don't think it costs one dollar to get one patient. But there is one thing which is still phenomenal and has been phenomenal for ages and ages and ages, and that is to become a best seller. Write a book. Now, most doctors, they can't, maybe I shouldn't say the word can't, but their time, they're, you know, because they're not goal makers, they're not sitting there doing nothing and just dreaming up, singing and, and writing. They're like working, they're doing root canals. You guys have a hard time writing books. And yes, you have a hard time writing good stories and good messages anyway. That's not in most of you guys' blood. If you become a bestseller, a book is the best brochure. A book is the best business card you can ever have. A book is the best credibility builder you can have. Now let's talk a little bit about it. We have been writing books for doctors for a long time, and usually we have done it as an extra program charging doctors money. 12, 14, 18, 20 thousand dollars, it all depends for writing, doing, and for you know putting your whole thing out. We are not saying we're not doing that anymore, but we included a best selling program now in our normal program. And we changed it a little bit, however. And here's what we changed instead of one book and about dentistry, or if you're chiropractic, chiropractic, but we write a couple, two, three books. And one of them might be on dentistry about something and, 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 it, and it's a booklet. So not, instead of a book book, it's a booklet. People like to read smaller things more, more and more they like to read smaller things. That's just a fact. So it's first of all a booklet. And second of all, it has to be, if it's about dentistry, very light and very something and usually about one aspect of dentistry or two aspects maybe, you know, linked way together, not like overall dentistry. You see, people don't wake up in the morning wanting to buy a dental book about root canals or implants or, or whatever. They, they, they really don't. But there are aspects which can be written about, you know, such as uh, we just came out of a, a very big health situation, pandemic and, and whatever. People with, you know, with lower immune system more affected than the other ones. And, and then we could educate them on immune system, on the connection of having periodontal disease and having uh, infections in the mouth to immune systems, things like that, which appeal to people and lit, written in a layman's language, of course, we do that for you. You just then need to kind of agree. But let's go to a very more important point, actually, or at least equally important, you know, we need to do it, is writing books for the community, such as children books, like how a little boy or girl 
it's very brave if they go to the dentist and we make it in a very fun little, maybe even interactive story. You know, books these days can be very interactive. Uh, and yes, we can do that. This is, uh, you know, we, we are at the forefront of technology, even though I myself uh, do not know how to uh, get a new telephone and transfer the data and make the new telephone working when I every four or five years get a new iPhone. I have my, one of my people doing it. But I know about it on a big picture. We then get the right people to do it, and we do half them, of course. So children books. The children book could be on a story on how, a, I don't know, a cat becomes a friend with an elephant and becomes a friend with a dog and, and maybe with a whatever the heck uh, animal, you know, runs around, uh, a hamster or something, and blah, 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 and how they have an adventure and how they finally find back home again or whatever it may be. Or a little puzzle, you know, like as kids, how we used to be uh, playing puzzles and still, I suppose they do. But now those puzzles can be literally in a book on an internet. So the little kid puts together, I don't know, a, an animal, a cat or, or something or a few animals. And or maybe they puts together like a, a body parts and learning something about it. There is more out there which can be done than you and me can possibly uh, write down. So we write those books. Do you want children? Let's assume you never want children, as, as patients, I mean. <laughs> it doesn't matter. The parents and the grandparents love it that you do something for children, and it will make the rounds. And writing a book is like going to the Olympics. You know, it's like being at the Olympics, but being nowhere seen at the Olympics. You're like, you know, but it is going to the Olympics, which is a thing because it's, 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 you're not dead. That's writing a book. If we make you a bestseller, which very, 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 very most likely we manage, we have managed almost all the time, uh, there are methods for everything. Oh, we have ways, I might say. Now you're on the podium. podium. Let me tell you something. The newspaper, the radio, the television, the old type of media, which we don't need anymore as much as we used to, but we still take them and we get them. They will love to interview you, whether it's for a children's book or for the book on how a gum disease has to do something with the immune system and blah, blah, blah. Okay, they will interview you and they will introduce you as this, Dr. George, the bestseller, or Dr. George, the author. The, being the author, being the bestseller is and will count more than being a doctor. And in the first place, it's that which gets you on the show or be talked about in an article in a local or not so local newspaper. Just how it is. You see, when you went to dental school, uh, your professors probably had a book because publish or bearish. And even though his book was only read by his students in most cases, and they needed to because he examined them on it, uh, so they had no choice but reading that stuff, which maybe was good, maybe not. Who cares? You know, it, what is important is that the people out there do it, but they read it, that you are a bestseller, that you are an author. That's what I'm saying. Whether lots of people read it or not is not even half as important as you think. Getting the title of being an author, getting the, uh, the title of being a bestseller, that's what counts. So we're going to do a couple to three books for you in about a year's time. Part of the program, a couple of them should be, as I said, with children or, or how to feed a, a goldfish and not make him dying for a child. Millions of things we can and should do. And we need to talk about what we do. Then. We're going to make it a bestseller and we're going to make this book. First of all, we translate it in one or two different languages. English, it's of course written, right? And then we translate it in Spanish and or Chinese as your neighborhood might or might uh, not or say warn it. And do we care whether every Spanish speaking person in your area speaks English very well? Absolutely not. That's good that they do. Really, really good. But they will love it anyway that you have a book and it is also in Spanish. And on top of it, have you ever heard how authors brag that their book is translated in four languages, in 20 languages? Well, it's all a branding about you. And it all goes hand in hand. It goes side by side with our program of you need to be talked about in the community out there about things which have absolutely positively nothing to do with dentistry. Or if you're a car mechanic, not with, car me with repairing a car. People cannot, will not, and don't want to. And thanks God they don't talk about their illness and their doctor all day long. 
That's just not something they do. And again, that's good. You go and try to tell at Thanksgiving dinner all the people about um, the crooked teeth and the reciting gums and whatever the heck. And you will next year not have any people anymore at your Thanksgiving dinner. And if that's what you want, start talking to them about it. You know it. Being weaved into the everyday conversation about people is very important. Children, old people, young, poor people, animals, uh, anything kind of very social is exactly what people talk all the time. And that is what you need to do. Doctor, give us a call and your first conversation for about an hour will be with me. Give us a call how we can help you with all this thing. Here's the thing. You're going to get so many ideas. You will love those ideas, even if for some reason you do not enroll in our program. And if you do not enroll in our program, you will be part of the majority. But you will also be part of the majority who absolutely likes it. Okay? And we're not going to push you to, to get a sale on that uh, first conversation. Not even at all. In fact, I never do. I never want that money on the first time. Um, but it will be just for us to get warm. For me to see, can I really help you? And for you to see, to see and or believe Yes, I think he can help me. Yes, I do want that. Uh, yes, I do want to be involved in that. That's all this first conversation is all about. It is important. And if you would have a hundred such conversations a year, meaning two a week, and only at the end of the year or the end of two years, you find something which you like and do, and then it works out, that would be the best 100 hours ever spent. I can guarantee you that. I don't guarantee many things, but I can guarantee you that. However, you will like our conversation. It will give you food for thought. You will love it. Give us that call. Meet with us, me, for an hour, and let's see how maybe we can help. Go and find out how out of the box, or as I sometimes say, out of this world, we are thinking and doing. And yet, everything we think and do is old. It's just not old for you. For you, it's brand new. And for most dentists, it's brand new. But in the world, it's old because I'm not a super good inventor, but I am somebody who can observe relatively well, have worked in 20 countries around this uh, planet, and, um, and then can go, ah, mm, mm, and put it together and make something. Why? Because most of the time, I'm a gold maker. I'm not a worker, even though I love being in the trenches and working as well. But I make sure that I have plenty of time to be a gold maker. Doctor, give us a call. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.